I would rather be gone and not even hear that because it means I'm still here and they might save me. Bruh. Grow up, Bart Simpson. Just in hell, man. Go get some 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 kitty cat in your life or something. Or if you like dudes, go get some eggplant. But Jesus, man. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. And today, ooh-wee, we got a good batch of cringe ahead of us. It blows my mind every time we make these videos where it's just like, these are full-grown adults posting some of the most unbearable cringe ever. Like, if it's like a, a kid with their first car, maybe. But a lot of these people, man, they could go drink, they could go gamble, so they could get made fun of, in my opinion. Bring back bowling 2024. Unless it's about my new haircut. Don't, don't, you're not allowed to do that. I like my haircut. Actually, I, I like it. I've never gotten a lineup before. So if you haven't seen my Honda video, I, I just realized you haven't seen my haircut. So go watch the Honda video and then come back and take a look at my, my cute haircut. Anyways, car cringe, car TikTok cringe, just all of the bad stuff that in the car scene. I always say, let's try to make the car scene great again, but it's not going to happen. It's, it's impossible. It is so far gone. Just if you enjoy your car, just enjoy it in peace and just avoid everything else because it's, it's all really bad. I don't care if you're upset that I'm laughing at you. I don't care. You can go cry on my comments. It doesn't bother me. Some people get offended that I, I laugh at their videos. Who cares? Viewed as free publicity. It's a win-win in your book. Go home and make a sandwich and stick your dick in it or something. I don't know. Just go, go do something else except complain. Grow up. You're an adult. You made this video. You, you posted it. People are going to laugh at it. That's a life. Grow up. Anyways, if you see any car TikTok cringe tag me in it or send it to me on instagram let's dive right in all right first one ew it's a cruise not the pet boy wheels not the wheels you see right when you walk in pet boys did they give you the buy three tires get one free special they didn't he didn't even show the front he didn't even show the front from this super far and low lit video, I could see vortex generators with no wing, a rear trunk lip, some cool gangster text on his back window in a Chevy Cruze, might I add. Maybe an exhaust, and then of course the the Pet Boy special wheels, dude. This one, this one got the ops punching air right now. This one. They're jealous. They're hella jealous. The only people laughing at you are jealous because obviously they want to have a Chevy Cruze like this. Duh. Like, I should go trade my McLaren for something like this. This is uh, obviously I'm just jealous because I'm laughing at it, right? You're lucky I have a short attention span because after about five minutes of searching, I can't find these wheels. So either these are super rare one of one wheels on the super rare Chevy Cruze. Or they're just so dog water that I cannot find them anywhere. I can't read the little the little center cap. You win this one, Chevy Cruz. You win this one. But you'll never win a race in your goddamn life. Never. Unless you're racing a dude on a fucking electric scooter or something. Or a kid on a skateboard with bad bearings. Maybe. Yeah, an actual vehicle? Probably not going to happen. I don't think you'd beat Metro Transport. Moving on. All right, next video. Let's take a look. Draft made it out of the mud. Maybe you should have kept this one in the mud. Let's take a look. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to like copyright cover the music somehow. I'm going to have to mask it, but it's playing some really bad music. And uh, she's at a gas station filming herself in front of nothing. There, there's, there's, no, there's no bike. She, she, she brought her helmet out, maybe hitched a ride or called an Uber, and went and filmed a video as if she's riding a motorcycle. But there's no motorcycle behind her. So where's... I mean, unless she's using the motorcycle as a camera stand, maybe. It's like the only thing I can think of, but it just seems kind of stupid. Everyone is asking, where's the bike? And I even clicked on her page, and out of all of her reels, she has one where she's sitting on a bike. She's not riding in any of her videos, so I have no idea if this girl can ride a bike or not. But the cringe part is just the fact that she's recording in front of nothing. Like, all of her content is just filmed inside her room. Um, there, there's none where she's on a bike. This is the only one where she's on a bike and she's in somebody's garage or underneath a, a tree house or something. Cause that's where I keep my motorcycles underneath my tree house. Of course, this is the same bike underneath the same tree house. So maybe she lives in the tree house. It's just a, a hypothesis. Still need to do some investigating, I guess. 
But in none of her content is she actually like riding the motorcycle. Like most bike girls or most <laughs> motorcycle content creators in general will, will film themselves, you know, doing at least a circle in a parking lot. None of that's happening here. The bike ain't even turning on. Who knows if it even has a battery? It could just be a prop. I mean, I find it very hard to believe that you would have no friend that would want to record you like, I don't know, riding. But once again, like there's there's no bike when she's out and about. The bike is only ever seen underneath the treehouse. So do with that info what you want. Wow, content. Yeah, great content. 10 out of 10 bike content right there. Bike content creators or helmet creators, however you want to word it. Good job. That's enough of that, though. I actually want to see a vehicle in the next one, hopefully. Oh, yeah, we do have a vehicle. Let's read this. It says, patiently waiting for the night that I'm flipped over in a ditch hearing this. I bet there's some cringe-ass comments. I, I don't even know if we should just address the cringe-ass video of people just always wanting to die in their car. Like, <laughs> I was going to say some really bad advice right now. But it's a joke, so don't get offended. But if you want to die so bad... A shotgun in a single shell, you know, I I know I got mine ready downstairs. So, you know, it's just quicker. Don't get offended. It's just a joke, okay? I didn't write the joke. I did write the joke. And you know what? I'm standing by it. It's a lot quicker and a lot more painless. But anyways, let's read some cringe-ass comments. Um, Can't repost because then someone will ask if I'm okay. That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear, welcome to heaven intentionally trying to harm yourself you're not going to hear that i'm just saying i don't know if that was the guy's intention here but it was a good run y'all <laughs> how are these girl people oh my god i would rather be gone and not even hear that because it means i'm still here and they might save me bruh grow up bart simpson just in hell man go get some 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 kitty cat in your life or something. Or if you like dudes, go get some eggplant. But Jesus, man. Final words would be peace at last. I want to see this goofball. Sorry, you're getting picked on. Peace at last. Ah, oh my God. Peace at last, man. All right. All right. All right. No, it's just a comment. God, man. People are fucking something else, man. Well, well, you guys have such weird fascinations with dying. I don't understand it. Like, it keeps me up at night knowing that one day I will die. That genuinely keeps me up at night. Same with my my family members passing and all that stuff. That all keeps me up at night. Just the thought that one day I'm going to wake up and my mom is going to be gone is traumatizing. And yet, these people are over here uh, stroking themselves to the idea of it. That's insane. You guys need some fucking mental health, man. Go get some therapy, man. I think you could do it online nowadays. You could type it in. I'm sure somebody will tell you over the phone. Like, you'll be fine. My God. Or they're just doing it for clout, which is probably the other reason. They just want sympathy. It got 60 or 36,000 likes. That's why they're doing it, obviously. Next clip. Okay, so this is a kid. I, I can't really make fun of this person. This person is literally 10 years younger than me. Um, a little over 10 years younger than me. But it's not too late to delete this little Brody, okay? You're, you're not quite in senior year yet. This is freshman year right here. I know God well there's nothing underneath the hood except for the factory fucking motor and maybe a uh, Pep Boys or AutoZone intake that was on clearance or something like this. Something you saved up your little lunch money money and went and purchased. This dude recorded this, posted it, and was like, that's the one. Again, he's a 14-year-old. Okay, we could be nice to him. Although this is probably the type of person in an Xbox party to be calling me racial slurs. It just, it just be like that, you know? Call of Duty is a different breed of people. It brings out different kinds of people. So that just be that. But that's, he should be inside playing Call of Duty right now instead of posting cringy TikToks. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Because this will come back and haunt you. You know, when you're asking girls out to prom and they're just playing this video back to you, it's, it's going to be embarrassing. And also, I don't know what state you could drive at the age of 14. I mean, it looks like this kid's literally at a playground right now. He's on like some grass. Maybe he lives in that treehouse that we just saw in a, a previous video. But regardless, give your mom back her keys. There's nothing underneath the hood. Maybe a misfire. There might be a misfire and 5,000 miles past due oil in the engine, but that's it. Moving on. Drift King. Okay, let's see it. I'm, I love drifting. I love watching it. I don't do it. I like watching it. Can he drive? Can he drive? Can he drive? Oh, this boy. Hmm. Next, Paul Walker. What stands for? Donkey Kong. Drift King. Yeah.
really hope that was satire. I really do. I don't think it was just because this looks like something that, that, that took a little bit too long <laughs> to edit for it to be satire. But, uh, Oh, the bad camera angles and everything too. It, he didn't even break loose. Like he's not getting any wheel spin. It, it's front wheel drive, right? Just yank up on the handbrake and just floor it, I guess. Need for speed. Least wanted. Slow and upset. <laughs> not quite fast and furious. Just slow and upset. Ignore the haters, bro. They're right. <laughs> There's always great comments in these videos. Always. Except for if it's like a straight up cringe video with people trying to fucking off themselves. But... Like, I hope this was satire, but this totally seems like something that I would have tried to make when I was, like, 16. But my car was at least rear-wheel drive. I, I'm at a loss of words right here. You want to be in a Fast and the Furious movie? You probably could. You would just be the, the pizza boy. Roads closed, pizza boy. Find another route. You could have that role. That would be a good role for you. But, yeah, you ain't doing no drifting. Not, not in the Suzuki. Not happening. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Your car makes the rules. It ain't drifting. It's not driftable. Like, you see, that's you're on dirt, and you can't even break it loose. Like... This is like riding a bike with training wheels on and you still tip over. Like you're just, you're fucking stupid at that point. You might be restarted. I don't know. You might, it might be. I don't make the rules. Maybe a touch of acoustic as well. I mean, I'm sure I got a pinch of that somewhere in me. So it, it just, it'd be like that. All right, moving on. Officially selling for 3.5K. Mother of God. What, what are you selling? The car? Oh my God. Look at this. That's one mighty fine tow hook. I, I, oh, when this accident happened and it needed to be towed home, I bet, I bet he told the tow operator, no, 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 no. I got a tow hook on the back. I got a tow strap. Go ahead and go ahead and use that bad boy. God, it would have been so much funnier if there was a hole next to it where it was clearly ripped out of. Oh, that would have been so funny. Because then he would have remounted it and been like, no, no, I need to have that tow strap just in case. Fucking idiot. Yeah, what are you selling for 3.5 thousand? These things are going for free if you got a screwdriver and a USB cable. Like, why, why are you selling this? Just leave the keys in it. Leave, no, no, my bad, my bad. It's a key. You don't even have to leave the keys in it. Maybe leave the window cracked so that way they don't bust it. But literally just go leave it outside. It will be gone in a couple hours by some hooligan. And then you get her in, you get, you get to say it was stolen. That's even better. It was stolen and then crashed? Just say that. Done deal. It's a Kia. It's a Kia. It's a matte black Kia with matte black wheels with tinted taillights, a fake carbon fiber, and a fake tow hook. Come to think about it, nobody wants to steal that piece of shit, even if they could for free. Nobody wants to steal it. And definitely no one's going to pay $3,500 for this lawn ornament. Nobody's, nobody's going to buy that shit. Getting in car accidents sucks, but you could buy a Kia that hasn't been rear-ended like Riley Reed, And it, and it, was, it would be... 3.5,000. I think my brother bought his, my brother bought his Kia for 5,000 and it wasn't f***ed up. So, an extra 1500? That's way more than $1,500 in damage. I'm just saying that. And his Kia has been attempted to be stolen like twice now. So, if you want to buy a Kia, he's selling it. He is tired of it. All right, last video. Um I don't even know what to comprehend here. Let's just take a look. That's not how you paint. Oh my god. I just noticed they're, they're, they're hubcaps too. It's literally the easiest thing to paint. And, and and you painted it with a paintbrush. You could have just... It would have been less effort to just rattle can it. Yet you did it with a paintbrush? Put away the fucking arts and crafts kit from your middle school. Put that shit away. And go buy a spray paint can like a real man. Breathe in the fumes. Get a little bit of lung cancer. Okay, lose a couple brain cells like a real man. Dude's over here playing dress up with this car, man. Putting on nail polish. Might as well be. What was the benefit of doing it by... Did he also paint... He painted his lug nuts, too. It's not... Oh, my God. They're fake lug nuts, obviously. But, like, look it. They're in this first clip. They're not painted. So, he made a conscious decision. You know what? Blue lug nuts. Teal lug nuts. Cyan lug nuts. That's the fucking move right there. He made a conscious decision. It just happened to be one of the worst conscious decisions of his life. Why do ricers always feel like they're doing something when they're doing absolutely nothing? Like, painting trim on your car is not modifying your car. And it's not making it look any better. And you happen to choose possibly the worst possible color to do it as well. If you would have painted this stuff black, like it was a chrome delete maybe, I'm sure we wouldn't even be here today because I wouldn't even bat a f eye at it. But you chose baby blue to devalue your car.
Bro had to have lost a bet. There's no way someone's doing this free will right here. I just am I'm more blown away that he did this with a paintbrush than anything. Like, you already took off the hubcaps. Just would have took 10 seconds. But that's how you know people are really stupid. Whatever. And he masked. Okay, this is getting worse every second of the day. Every second my existence is being questioned. Remember that 12 gauge with one shell I was talking about earlier? Might be the day. This might be my 13th reason. He masked off the center cap with blue tape, but not the lug nuts. You could have just gone back with your paintbrush after the fact and just painted them black or something. God, I'm just... Mm, all right, yeah, the car scene's ruined. The car scene's ruined. Um, GG's, it's over. Um, if you made it this far, you're, you're tough. You're a tough cookie. Let me know down below how far you made it. <clears throat> My voice is dying. Anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Unless you were in it, you probably didn't enjoy it too much. In which case, thank you for providing such great content for me. Uh, anyways, subscribe. Send me more cringe. And until next video, peace.